Okay, so if you remember back working with fractions, maybe we would have something like 3 times 2 times a times b over 2 times a. And we said, well, we can cancel the 2s and we can cancel the a's, right? Now the reason, so in this case we would get the answer 3b. The reason we can do that is because these are factors, things being multiplied. You can only cancel if you have factors. And then also there has to be one in the top and one in the bottom in order for you to cancel them, okay? Well, that's the same thing we're going to do, only a little bit bigger in terms of rational expressions. So there's basically three steps. You have to factor the numerator, meaning get it into multiplication. You have to factor the denominator. And see if anything cancels. Oops, cancels. Okay, so that's the kind of three steps there. So we have two examples now. It might be tempting to just start canceling stuff, but don't do it. Don't fall for that, okay? First, you have to get this in terms of multiplication. Right now, that numerator is an addition thing, right? Stuff plus stuff. But there's a GCF, which is x squared. So I'm going to factor out the x squared, and I get x plus 1. Okay, so I used a GCF in the numerator, and I factored out the x squared. Now it's multiplication. I have x squared times x plus 1. Now we're going to look at the denominator. Well, that denominator is not going to factor. If it doesn't factor, then it has to be the whole thing itself. Okay, so I put the parentheses just for clarification. That is what I could cancel, you know. I can't cancel x's, but I can cancel x plus 1. Those factors are the same. And so my answer here is just x squared. You could put x squared over 1, but we don't usually put it over 1. To simplify, we would just put x squared. Okay? All right. Hopefully that one makes some sense. We'll go, maybe, if not, we'll go to the next one. <laughs> so we want to factor the numerator. So are there two numbers that, it's a trinomial, are there two numbers that multiply to be 5 and add to be 6? And the answer is yes, 1 and 5. So this trinomial is going to factor into x plus 1, and x plus 5. Now I have to look at the denominator. So the denominator, oh, x squared minus 25. That's the difference of two squares. So it's going to factor into x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay? Now sometimes students get confused on this problem because they want to start canceling stuff right away. But you can't. You have to factor the numerator, factor the denominator. Okay. Now we got everything factored. That's the hard part. Is there anything we can cancel? Is there a factor the same in the numerator and the denominator? Yes, x plus 5's, those get to cross out. Okay, what do we have left? Well, in the numerator, we have x plus 1, and in the denominator, we have x minus 5. Now, you could put parentheses around those. Um, that would be fine, but it's not necessary. Now, that's the answer. I haven't put a box around it, because sometimes students get uh, confused. They're all excited, and they're like, oh, maybe I could cancel those x's. No, because it's not multiplication in the numerator. It's just, it's either the x plus 1, all of it, or none of it. <laughs> you can't take part of it because of the addition. Same thing in the denominator. You can't take just the x and cancel it because of the subtraction. Okay, so those are those two problems. You'll get more practice with these.